Hello friends, welcome to my Joomla 3.x module development series episode 3. In the previous episode, we have learned how you can use template file in your module. Now in this episode, we will learn how you can use helper file. So we will follow this structure. So what we are introducing here, we are introducing a new file which is called helper.php file. And what is that? Earlier we discussed about we have like two types of logic. One is like business logic, another is like view logic. So business logic we will not place in the template file. Template file is only responsible for displaying data. But let's say if we have to do certain operations from the database or let's say we have to do some operations um, and from that operations we will fetch some data and that data we want to display on the screen. So instead of displaying from this helper file, we will pass that data to the template file. So this file will only responsible for displaying data. But to retrieve data from the database or REST API or any uh, other medium, we will use this helper file. Okay. So that is the use case of helper file. So let's uh, modify our existing code. And if you have not watched my previous episode, please go back and watch uh, my previous episode. Okay. So let me open. So we have like episode two. So now um, we will copy this episode two. So it will be much easier. Okay, so now we will rename this to episode three. Three. So next, uh, let's create a helper file here. So name it helper.php file. And remember uh, that people, so that like people not able to open this file directly, we will place this logic, correct? So it will check where the Joomla is calling this. So this is done. Now on the helper file, what we do actually, we actually create a class, helper class. So please follow this naming convention. So your class names will be like mod, then your module name, okay? And then this helper keyword, okay? So our module name is like, let's say, hello. So it should be like class mod hello helper. Yes, definitely you can create other class name, but it's always better to follow some naming convention because we are not using any kind of namespace. So it can actually um, collide with other classes. So please follow this kind of convention. Now we have created our class and let's create a static method which will actually return some data. But in the latter episode, like when we will um, incorporate SQL in our module, that time we will fetch data from the database. But for now, we will just return some string so that I can show you how you can like uh, use helper file. So um, let's create a static method, static function, get let's say hello message and from here hello message from help file okay so we are done with our helper file now let's save this okay so now by default Joomla won't able to call this helper file. So first we need to, because we already know first thing Joomla understood like call this mod underscore hello dot php file. So here we have to call our helper file to get the data. So first uh, we need to require our helper file. Here you can see we have require. So helper file uh, we will require. So require so if you do require so it will whenever like let's say this module instance placed multiple times in a page it will try to require multiple time and you know like you cannot redeclare really same class again and again so it will throw some extremes exception so for that 
we will only include this helper file once so that is require once and where this file is located so dir name so current directory file and then uh, we can concatenate it with helper.php file so this is how we have included now let's say we have to fetch some data so we will fetch this data using this file and whatever variable we will define here those variable will be um, available to our template file so let's say dollar hello message equal to mod helper and because this is a static method so we don't have to create any object we can directly call the method okay so hello message so this variable will be available to our template file so let's uh, save this and go back to our template file and here earlier we are displaying some static text so now what we will do we will try to print out this variable message here so let's uh, do okay so we are done with that now as we have included this helper file definitely we need to tell Joomla that we have a helper file so where we will define we will define all of our module files and folder in our XML file so let's quickly create a helper file so this is helper.php helper.php okay and because we already have one module installed so always like in increase this version one so let's say this versions our module is like next one so now we are ready to create our zip of our module and we'll try to install it so let's go to the pre let's delete the earlier one episode 2 and this is phrase episode 3 and compress okay so now uh, let's uh, go back to the control panel and if we go to the extension sorry manage so here if we go to the manage and uh, if we search our extension we should be able to see our older version extension so let's say hello So we have 1.0.1 and this archive 1.0.2 so let's install our new module file okay it's installing if we have not missed any syntax or anything we should be able to see our module output here yeah so you can see hello message from helper file okay so now I can create one more instance here and it should work fine so let me go ahead to the extension module and uh, new one And here we have hello module new module instance we will define the exact same positions or oh, we can define other positions as well now display on all pages and click on save now if we go ahead and refresh this page so you can see new instance module instance and both the module instance is working fine and this is the power of joomla you 
will create one module and later like when I will show you you can define some parameter so you can take parameter and based on that parameter you can display module in a different way we will create different type of module contact us module login module slider module there are like tons of things is possible using module this is like very powerful okay so this was the episode like you understood like how you can create helper file and um, um, the logic so in the next episode we will try to use like module parameter how you can accept module parameter from the back end okay so see you on the next tutorial thank you